Hi, my name is Ellie and I'm studying for my PhD on the implications of microplastic pollution on large filter feeders. Microplastics going into the sea can start right from our homes. For example, when you wash your face with a product containing microbeads, um, things that are designed to exfoliate your face, uh, once you're finished washing your face, these beads end up washing down the drain and entering in our waterways and then ending into the sea. What happens when these beads enter into the ocean is they can be ingested by marine life. So ingesting something that's undigestible is never good for an organism. It can build up, clog up the digestive system, um, reduce their ability to absorb nutrients, but worse, it can also end up on our dinner plate. I've had the fortunate opportunity to be able to observe manta rays for the last four years while working in Indonesia. These are majestic, gentle giants. Thinking that these animals may be ingesting potential toxins because of the consumer choices that we're making every day, for me, is just heartbreaking, especially because it's not necessary. The microplastic problem is not just happening overseas, it's happening right here in Australia, in areas like Coral Bay, which is home to beautiful filter feeders like the manta rays, and nearby Ningaloo, home to the whale sharks. There's a lot that we can do at home to turn the tide against the microplastic epidemic. For example, I've just started using Enyo's makeup remover pads. Um, no need for plastic microbeads, no need for single-use plastic. There are options for us to lead a comfortable life that doesn't involve chemicals and a lot of plastic. <laughs>